What up, Dope Hunters? Recently, I made a video discussing the possible themes we could maybe see for the worldwide download celebration, but I had no idea that immediately after me making that video, this tweet would be doing the rounds. This apparently has been circulating for a couple of days now, suggesting that the worldwide download might potentially be Baby Saga. And it's uh, gained a lot of traction ever since. But what's even crazier is that this was posted on the 23rd. Just earlier today or yesterday, depending on when you're watching this, Pan was announced as the next Dokkan Festival unit on the JP side of the game. So with that now being the case, and with this news having broken after this had released, could we actually be heading towards a Baby Saga related or GT themed worldwide download celebration? This is going to apply to both global and JP. So it is very important that we discuss this because this could very well be the next banner that you guys are summoning for. Because as you guys know, the seven year part one banners are the most hype. Then comes the worldwide download celebration part one as well. Those are two of the biggest celebrations of all time. And the turnaround is quite unfortunately low for global players. So any opportunity that you can save, you should. So with this possibly being the next banner, we need to discuss what if the Baby Saga dominated the worldwide download celebration for 2022. Let's dive in by simply just plugging and chugging various elements from the GT or Baby Saga theme into the previous year's worldwide download. So we're looking at the 350 from last year. This is the Namek Saga one. So we're simply just going to take things out and plug them in. So last year was, of course, Namek, Goku, and Full Power Frieza. This year, if it is going to be Baby Saga, it would be Super Saiyan 4 and Baby Vegeta. Let me know in the comments if there's any point in this that you guys agree or disagree. I'd love to hear you guys' ideas on this one because there's so many what-ifs from this possible celebration that it would just be too long for me to cover it all. So Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Baby Vegeta. Super Saiyan 4 would start off as a Super Saiyan 3. I don't want him to start off as a Super Saiyan 4 because then we can't run him alongside other Super Saiyan 4s. I would like for him to start off as a Super Saiyan 3 GT unit that would then active skill into a Super Saiyan 4. I don't want a giant form mess up like we did for the Part 2 LR Vegeta. When a unit is giant form, the links completely get destroyed. I don't want that. So Super Saiyan 3 and Super Baby Vegeta 1 into Baby Vegeta 2. No giant forms. New Dokkan events for both units. There is no Baby Saga Dokkan events. So there will be a new one for this one and a new one for this one because, I don't know, I feel like we're, we're, we're due for a new Super Saiyan 4 Dokkan event. Memorial Stones. Oh my gosh. We're not going to talk about this. I'm going to save this for another video because this is going to make me extremely depressed thinking that I might actually have passed Nano when it comes to stones spent. Ugh. Oh my gosh. All right, Purunga Dragon Ball campaign. Um, this one, we would obviously just substitute for the Black Star Dragon Ball. Pretty sensible there. Uh, okay, skip all that. Moving down here, we got some story events. So obviously, this was new story events that was created for the Namek Saga. They would probably do something similar for either Baby Saga or something else in GT. The entirety of GT is a pretty small section of the Dragon Ball lore. So it actually wouldn't be a bad thing to cover pretty much the entire expanse of GT during this celebration. Have the banner units be primarily centered around Baby Saga, but then have other things like tangential story events and whatnot. Have them be related to GT. Maybe give us Legic. Maybe give us you know, Rildo or explore something else, you know? So that would be a pretty cool opportunity to do that. Or they could even revamp the Baby Saga story events. I would actually very much encourage that they do this because these two or these two story events are just useless. The only reason why you would run them is to get the coins or perhaps the nurse Chi Chi for possible Super Battle Road runs. But these hybrid Saiyans of the extreme class, by the way, the only ones of their kind, to my knowledge, these guys are irrelevant. You never use them. It's not even worth farming them out. I would like for them to revamp these story events, maybe perhaps consolidate both of them into one DB story event, make it a much bigger production, give us better stuff, give these guys TURs and EZAs, kind of like what they did with the Ginyu Force EZAs, give us hybrid ext or extreme hybrid Saiyans EZAs, and then also add in Bola, make Bola possessed, make Bulma possessed. How cool would that be? Give all of these various possessed units, sort of putting a spin on the super class, make them extreme class. That'd be pretty cool. So we could get that some new meat thing sure uh oh yeah easy a so the easy a obviously is going to be a big one for speculation a lot of people will have different ideas uh shout out to uh annie for posting this obviously everyone is thinking this if we're gonna get a baby saga theme or a gt theme celebration all of these units are on the chopping block for a potential easy a all of them deserve easy a's it would actually be fairly appropriate to give the four year part two banner units they're easy A's because the four year part ones are getting their easy A's during seven year. So during worldwide, why not give the four year part twos their easy A's, which means GT Trio and Baby Vegeta. Other units would also include Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Battlefield Oob. We do Battlefield easy A's now, so that would be obviously a sensible one. Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku would be cool. Um, other units could be obviously Baby 2, 
we could get Super Saiyan 3 Goku? What if we went even more obscure GT? What if they start doing maybe World Tournament easiest? There's just so much to work with here. Just empty real estate on the GT link set. So many units that could get some sort of an upgrade. It would be great. GT is just generally a joke. If you're not using Shadow Dragon Saga, you're not using GT. They're terrible. So give them all easy A's. Make them worth running. Uh, and then Collection of Epic Battles. Give us the heroes and the villains of the GT arc. You could maybe, you know, subsection it into Baby Saga or Shadow Dragons if you want. I would probably think it would be a more appropriate thing to just make the entirety of GT one little Collection of Epic Battles thing. This event desperately needs an update. It's been a one year exactly. Ultimate Clash, they would obviously give us a GT themed one, some pets on battle as well. Moving on to part two, the only real question here is gonna be, what would the part two LRs be? Could it be relegated to Baby Saga again, or could it be non Baby Saga, but still GT related characters? Perhaps, I don't know, an Underworld Piccolo? You know, the, the Prison Warden Piccolo, that would be a cool one perhaps. Or maybe they could give us a Majub LR. This one starts off as an Oob that transforms into Majub. Give us another Majub LR, that would be kind of cool. Maybe they give us Legic or Rildo. Maybe they give us one of the Shadow Dragons. Something else in GT would be cool. And I think that would be a fun thing. Honestly, most of you probably won't even care because most of you probably won't even summon on this banner as it is a part two legendary summon, which as we generally discuss, is not the preferred banner to summon on. New story events, once again, would be cool. Uh, some Dragon Stones. Now this, this would actually be pretty cool. And I kind of just spoiled it by talking about the Prison Warden Piccolo. I don't really know what the premise of the event could be, but they basically give us this like unique event every single year for the worldwide download. This last year, it was the breaking the siege. The premise was Bardock trying to break through enemies' lines, right? Freezes forces. What they could maybe do this year is have Piccolo in hell trying to just take out all the various opponents in hell. I don't know. Kind of like a red zone, I guess. You know, they could do something like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have any creative ideas for what this unique worldwide download event could be uh zenny galore blah 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 blah. new story events again we had an elder or elder guru's link level up stage this was uh to date this is the best i believe the best uh rates for link level ups it might be higher or the same as the roshi event i believe it's a little bit higher uh this one was actually pretty rough on me because i never got any link level ups on this but anyway uh with this being a thing last year could they potentially bring this back this year with another theme maybe or this could be an entry point for global to receive an earlier copy of the tune key the whole controversy on jp was this whole paywalled thing where you get guaranteed link level ups if they were to introduce this on global sooner this would probably be a decent point to do that uh story events getting their updates easy area for the uh guinea force the, obviously the the possessed saiyans right the possessed characters the second EZA would then be whatever EZA we covered, I guess the next one in the list. So if we had GT Trio for part one, give Baby for part two, or perhaps just double up, give us more stuff. That would not be bad, right? Uh, collection of Epic Battles, obviously the next chapter in that, the uh, opposition. So if you had the villains in the first part, make the heroes the second part. And then in part three, what was there going on in part three? We didn't have a new summoning. We had an EZA, an LR EZA. So actually, this would actually be pretty cool. Give the two LR EZAs in part three, and then give us all of the other Dokkan Festival and sub Dokkan Festival stuff in parts one and two. So give Super Saiyan 4 Goku his shine in part one. Give part two to the sub EZAs, GT, or the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and the baby Vegeta. Maybe also add the battlefield. And then for part three, give it to the part two uh, year four units. That would actually be pretty cool. And I think that's pretty much it. And then chain battle. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So there you have it, folks. That is my a quick rundown of what a potential baby saga or gt themed worldwide download celebration could be um one last thing i do want to say there is precedent for those of you who are thinking tune this may not happen um first of all i don't think it's you know a guarantee but i think it's possible because while year six may not necessarily have the best of indication year five does year six before the namek saga worldwide download the previous jp dokkan festival was super vegeta which is obviously android cell saga so that doesn't apply but if we look at year five year five does hold a consistency here because worldwide download was majin Buu saga themed the previous celebration the summer campaign was majin Buu saga as well ultimate gohan and supreme kai so it's happened in the past it could happen again and as we know dokkan is super ultra unpredictable at this point so it's anybody's guess there you have it folks those are my ideas and there is a possible precedent set for gt coming up for worldwide download would you summon would you be hyped Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments your thoughts on a potential Baby Saga themed celebration. Would you summon on those units? Do you think a, uh, I don't know, just a myriad of EZAs dropping during the worldwide download would be a good idea? Which ones in particular? Did I miss anything? What would you guys like to see for a new event? Let me know in the comments down below all of your ideas. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it!
Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.